Before we get started, please take a moment to click that thumbs up. It really helps. Thank you. Okay, this video is going to answer a couple of the questions that have shown up on the most recent video on T-Drop. Number one, the first question is, can I stake my T-Drop even though it is not vested? And the answer to that is yes. Subject to T-Drop staking minimums, which as yet have not even been announced that I'm aware of. Whatever appears in your wallet on February 1st, you will be able to stake it, 100% of it. Even those that are not vested, which is 100% of what you received is not vested on that day. The first vesting will be one-sixth of what you receive, and that happens three months after you receive it. So if you receive 2000 on February 1st, you will be able to stake that entire 2000 immediately. Does not have to be vested. Vesting only determines when you can sell your T-Drop token. And each token has its own date attached to it when it vests. But if you received 2000 and you divide that by 6, that number that you get will be the amount that will vest each quarter. So that's the first question. The second question is, what will T-Drop be worth? Well, there's no way to know what it's going to be worth until May 1st, 2022, when the first batch of T-Drop vests and can be put on the market. That number is 466.6 million. T-Drop will vest on May 1st and be available to be put on the market. That doesn't mean it's going to appear on the market. The number that will appear on the market can be anywhere from zero all the way up to 466.6 million of them. So there's no way to know until they actually appear on the market what the price will be. And there's a number of factors that will determine what that price will be as far as what people are willing to pay for them. For example, what are the benefits to owning T-Drop? Is there going to be a scramble to buy it because people that aren't receiving it from their uh, Theta staking activity, you know, if the value of owning T-Drop is a lot of benefits, they may bid the price up, especially if very little of it actually appears on the market. We don't know how much will appear on the market. We know the maximum that can appear on the market on May 1st. The maximum is 466.6 .6 million of them but we don't know how many of them will could be zero could be 10 percent 20 percent 30 who knows you know most people that have it may determine that it's more valuable to keep it staked than it is to try and sell it on the market so just think about that you know if you've got theta and you've got the minimum required to stake of 1000 theta and you think that you may want some T-Drop, the only way to get it is to stake your Theta, you know? Either that or you have to wait until May 1st and try and get some wherever it may be available. No way to know. It may be hard to get. It may be plentiful. It all depends on how much goes on the market, and it also depends on how many benefits they build into owning it. You know, if they put in some serious benefits to owning it, there's going to be a huge demand for it, and you can only earn it or buy it. And right now, you can't buy it. You won't be able to potentially buy it until May 1st. I suspect that the very first place that you are going to be able to buy and sell T-Drop will be Thetaswap.io, which is on the Theta network. And that's what I believe is going to be the case. As for staking T-Drop, we know what you will earn for doing so, but there are no details as yet as to what the minimum amount will be in order to stake it and the details of exactly how you will stake it. Those details have not been released that I'm aware of. I will let you all know since I know. Oh, and I'm going to take a guess, and this is only a guess, the minimum amount of T-Drop that you will need to stake, I suspect it's probably going to be about 10,000, similar to what uh, the minimum is on T-Fuel. I could be wrong. There may be no minimum. I'm guessing there will, and I'm guessing that given the amount of T-Drop that will exist uh, once it's minted, that they're going to set a minimum. I think it'll probably be 10,000, but we'll see. I expect that the minimum being 
10,000, again, my guess, that it will create a significant amount of demand by those who got their first tea drop on February 1st but did not get enough to be able to stake it, they're going to want to top up to whatever the minimum staking requirement is, and so they're going to be looking for it. If I had to guess at what I think the price of T-Drop will be when it goes on the market, I'm thinking anywhere from a half a penny to a penny. That's just a guess. But, you know, that seems to be where things tend to start out. That's where Theta started out, I believe. And uh, that's where T-Fuel started out was in the range of a half a penny to a penny. So, again, these are just guesses on my part. But it is what it is. We'll see. Well, that's a wrap for this presentation. So, cue the music. I think I'm going to put a poll up asking whether people think that that uh, caller to the White House that said let's go Brandon was talking about Brandon Brown the NASCAR driver versus the alternative meaning to let's go Brandon. I'd be curious to see how that poll comes out so look for it. If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me, and I'll see you in the next video.